Hey guys, I am sorry for the uh, slightly late upload, but um, I s decided to start my sweet potato slips today. So I got these store-bought sweet potatoes that I'm going to use to regrow more sweet potatoes, but they do not grow like potatoes in a bag. So what you have to do is start slips, which are basically little plants with roots that grow on the side of the sweet potato when you have them in containers of water, halfway at least, for about six to eight weeks, okay? So that's what we're doing today. You're not going to see, you know, a part of the video where I have slips already grown. I'm doing this today. This video is going up today. So if you plan on doing sweet potatoes this year, you can do it with me. This is my first time growing sweet potatoes in the States. I grew sweet potatoes in South America, but in the States, you know, I've never done this in the States before. So this is new. So we'll try it together if you like, okay? So these are just regular store-bought potatoes. And then before you put the potato in your container with water, right, you want to make sure you know what is the top and what is the bottom. There's a blunt side and a pointy side. And on one of my sweet potatoes, I really should have picked a better sweet potato but I couldn't really tell which was the top or the bottom because they were both pointy so I just went with my guess and put what I thought was the blunt side top up all right and then I realized I made a mistake so I had to come back later and um, turn two or three of them upside down no two of them upside down okay so this is the one I wasn't sure which was pointy or which one was blunt so you know I tried my best to put the pointy side, the blunt side down, I mean, and the pointy side up, okay? So this one, both sides are blunt, but I feel like this side has more of a point to it, this side has more of a blunt, so that's why I put that one like that. And I wasn't paying attention, so I accidentally put the other ones the opposite way. So remember, blunt side down, pointy side up, okay? And if you make a mistake and you see that it's not growing right, you can always turn it over, okay? You can also cut the potatoes in half and, you know, continue it on in another container. So I'm just trying to make sure I have only half of the potato submerged in water. That's why I'm just adding some water into other containers. All right, and then I realized that I had two of my potatoes the wrong side, so I had to go and turn them upside down. So pointy side up and blunt side down, okay? But if you make a mistake, it's fine. You can always transfer the potato or cut it in half and continue it on, like I said, in another container, okay? So don't stress yourself out about it, okay? All right, once I have my sweet potatoes positioned, I'm going to put them in my little greenhouse. I had the same greenhouse for a while, a couple of years, and then I asked my son to put it downstairs for me under our deck. And he decided to throw it off the deck, which caused it to break into a gazillion pieces. So I had to buy a new one, which I absolutely love. And hopefully this year he brings it down the steps instead of throwing it down the steps. I also wanted to show you guys one of my, well, one, two of my little seeds popped up. My little seedlings popped up from the seeds that I did in my last video before this one. And then I got these seeds at our local dollar store. And they were four seeds for a dollar. That was a great deal because there are some companies that are selling seed packet seeds like this for like two, three dollars or five dollars. It's crazy. So I decided to give these a try since they're from the dollar store, basically 25 cents a packet, and just do the paper towel method with them. I'm just gonna label this one HP. So habanero pepper. And then I had some seeds from last night's dinner. I made like a Mexican inspired dinner and I used bell peppers so I kept the seeds and I'm also going to use the paper towel method on these seeds. I grew bell peppers from store bought bell pepper seeds and I mean like fresh bell peppers I took the seeds and I grew them. So I already did this before and it worked so I know some of you guys say that you haven't had any success but I haven't had any issues. I think the only time I couldn't regrow a seed from a vegetable that I got from the store it was an eggplant. So that's pretty much the only one that I really could not grow. I do have a video showing you guys the paper towel method that I'm doing right now but using Ziploc bags. The only reason I'm using a bowl today 
is because I forgot to buy Ziploc bags and I'm just doing these little these two types of seeds so it's okay it's marked I know which is which so it's fine but um, I do have a video showing the process of doing the paper towel method with a Ziploc bag and showing how it should look when it's ready for you to put it into um, the trays or containers okay so that's how everything looks right now I have my sweet potatoes here I have some lemongrass and here's my tray while I was busy I wanted to show you guys my tray again because a third seedling is starting to pop up it wasn't there before if you look in the row all the way in the back you see that little speck right there it's starting to pop up so things are going great you can watch my previous video to watch me fill these trays and how I do it um, I do have seven kinds of tomatoes in there I have eggplant in there and I will be posting regular updates on these seeds please check the community section of my channel and I also made an Instagram account for my garden this year alright thank you guys for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video bye